Hello, dosto. Namaste. Welcome to Sav's Kitchen. Uh, today we are going to make banana bread. A very easy, very easy recipe. I think you can close your eyes and anybody can make it. And the credit goes to Molly, my daughter. Uh, this, that's her recipe. Very easy. I was so fascinated with this recipe. Uh, what we are doing right now is um, we have to take uh, 100 grams of soft butter, like room temperature. And then uh, I have taken 225 grams of um, uh, uh, self-raising flour. And I'm going to add one teaspoon. I can show you over here. I'm adding one teaspoon of uh, baking soda in it. Just one level because I don't want to put too much. You can see how I'm doing leveling it up. So one level teaspoon of baking soda and we just wanted to mix it up. And I have two eggs here. I have some walnuts uh, and then I have uh, 200, uh, sorry, 100 grams, 175 grams of castor sugar, which I already measured it. And I put it in and then I have and there's a banana bread that cannot be made without bananas so I'm using two big bananas which are properly ripe so what we are going to do is we're going to mash these bananas but which I'm going to just put everything in there so what I'm doing right now I put already put the sugar in my bowl so I'm just going to mix everything I'll put the butter first, maybe. Here goes my butter. And then I'm going to add my eggs. My two eggs. There goes one. And here goes the second egg. Okay. I'm putting everything together. I'm going to peel off the banana and I'm going to mash it with my blender. There we go. Second banana. Also going to add when I'm doing everything I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla s essence oops so they're going over one and before I start my blender I'm just going to mash my bananas in there so it will be easier so at least I don't have to use all the pans and parts uh, for mixing, I'm doing everything in one go. So I just wanted to mush it a little bit. The rest of the banana can be mushed with the blender. And it, it doesn't have to be like a paste paste. Even if they are bigger, thicker slices, I think a banana will look nice. I mean, taste nice. flour, self-raising flour in it. I just wanted to fold it nicely in there so the powder doesn't come out. for two to three minutes to make it fluffy. So 
basically everything is mixing in this bowl now. My eggs are there, sauteed and flour is there, bananas are there, vanilla essence, sugar, and I'm just basically mixing everything together. Size off so we don't miss any part. You can see all the bananas in there. Right at the end, we are going to add two tablespoons of milk in it. Let me just put it like this. One second. So if you see, this is my tablespoon. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk. Oops. One, two. it one more time. ग्राम डाली है सेल्फ फ्राइजिंग फ्लावर उसमें एक लेवल टीस्पून बेकिंग सोडा फिर उसमें दो एग्स डाले हैं उसके बाद वनिला एसेंस एक चम्मचा डाला और बनानास टू बनानास सारा कुछ एक ही बोल में डाल के आप उसको फेंट लें सारा मिक्स हो जाएगा एंड आई कैन शो यू द मिक्सचर the consistency of the mixture looks like this. So this is ready. It's ready for baking. So what we are doing, our next step is, I've already greased my pan. If you have a brown bread loaf, you can make it in that. I didn't have uh, that, so I'm using uh, my, like a cake tray. So I'm going to put everything in here now. Oh, one thing I forgot. We, I love walnuts. So I'm going to add about this much walnuts in there, right over here, there we go. You can also add some cranberries if you like them. And you just fold this one more time. Fold the mixture so the uh, walnuts can go on, on all the sides evenly. So my mixture ready, ho gaya, tiyar ho gaya. So I'm going to pour my mixture in the cake pan, which is already greased. It's very easy. I think it didn't even took me 10 minutes. And my oven is already ready. I put my oven to 350 degrees temperature uh, in US is 350 if you're baking in UK it's 180 degree Celsius I believe
because I don't want to miss any of my yummy yummy cake mixture. Okay, everything is done. So all we have to do with this cake mixture is we wanted to shake it because we don't want any air bubbles. No. I usually shake it like this. You can see the air bubbles there. We don't want any air bubbles in there. Sometimes I do on my leg like this. So the mixture can go evenly on the sides and there are no bubbles left, you can see. It's ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put that in the oven right now at a temperature of 350. We will bake it for at least 25 to 30 minutes. And here's the banana bread ready. So what we are going to do, I can show you, cut it and show you how it looks. I cooked it for 20, 30, 35 to 40 minutes and then I took, put a toothpick in this. If the toothpick is coming out sticky, it means it needs to uh, stay in the oven for maybe a few more minutes. Um, but if it's coming out clean, it means your uh, bread is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and cut because I am craving to eat that. It's very spongy. Mm, look at that, I can show you. Wow. It's really yummy. I can see. It's very soft and spongy. I'm going to try one. Can't wait. Mmm. Very yummy. If I can make it, you can make it as well. Thank you, Molly, for sharing your awesome recipe. And we loved it. So I hope everybody else will love it too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you. Sasrika. Namaskar. Komastas. Adios.